In this video, we're talking about how you can vlog using a GoPro or a DJI Osmo Action and some of the gear that you need to make the whole thing happen. And we're also gonna be going through some things that you need to think about when you're out vlogging. All right, before we get started, I just wanna mention that today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So what are we talking about in today's video? We're talking about all the unnecessary things that you don't need for a GoPro. Oops. I mean, it's necessary if you're vlogging. You need this. So you can actually mount stuff, or is that you can't mount anything? Oh, cool. Oh. I always wanted that. Okay, so for this video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about vlogging in general, and then gear. Because gear is one of the things that's gonna hinder you or make it easier for you to go out there and vlog. Now, as you can see, if you guys have been here for a while, I'm kind of in a new set here. I built a second set in my home office studio, kind of trying this out a little bit, a place for me to have a table to work on rather than you know just sitting over there by my computer and just making it work in the space that I have. And I think that's important for any creator out there is just having a space that you can go back to to produce your content. So if you do reviews, if you do tutorials or things like that, you need kind of a home base because it makes it a lot easier to just flip on cameras and then go and shoot the content rather than having to set all this up and then tear it all back down. So it's a work in progress. I'm gonna be rebuilding this a little bit, but just wanted to give you guys a little heads up of what's going on. Guys, if you're new here to this channel, my name is Jevin Dovey. I do filmmaking tutorials, I do product reviews, and also I like to do a lot of YouTube training and vlogging training. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss one of these videos. So when it comes to vlogging with an action camera, you can either just use the action camera as your vlog camera and use the internal audio, or you can get like an external mic, like this is the Rode VidMicro. Now, I highly suggest getting an external mic, and the reason is that if you're vlogging and if your audio is not the best, then what happens is people will get lost in your video because they're not able to hear you correctly. And this is just a big note in general when it comes to your videos. You wanna have clean audio because you can have bad visuals, but as soon as you have bad audio, it really pulls your audience out of what it is that you're shooting. So you wanna make sure that you record the cleanest audio that you can and then also edit your audio so it's not doing like this crazy wave up and down where it's super loud and then super quiet. The worst thing that you can do is have audio that's kind of all over the place and then when someone's watching that's going up, down, all over, they can't really hear you, they can really hear you because then people are gonna click off and they're not gonna watch your videos. So I highly suggest getting an external mic for your videos, especially if you're vlogging. So when it comes to an action camera, the issue is where do you mount an external mic on to a GoPro or an Osmo Action? Because the case that it comes with is not set up for vlogging. It's just a basic case that attaches your action camera to whatever it is that you wanna do, but you can't add much onto it. So I did a video a little while back about this case from Ulanzi, and it's a GoPro vlogging case. It has a place for the audio box, which is essential for GoPros. GoPro doesn't allow you to just plug in a mic. You have to have this special audio box, and this special audio box allows you to put in an external mic. So this Ulanzi case basically allows you to put this box on the bottom of it, and then it kind of ties it all nice and neat, and then you got a place for your microphone right on top so that everything is nice and clean. Now the issue comes up, well, what if you wanna add like a light to this or something else to that degree, like you wanna add more on? Well, Ulanzi made another case. And this case is essentially the same thing as this old case. However, they've added this extension bracket and a quarter 20 mount on the bottom instead of this like typical GoPro mount that was on there before. So this quarter 20 basically allows you to mount this to basically anything and not having to have like a go between. And also with this extension bracket, you can now mount a light on the side here. Hold on, I'm gonna use this light as a sample. This is a great light, it's actually called the vlogger light, so makes sense, right? Okay, so this is the full setup, and basically this case now allows you to add a microphone on the top, a light off to the side if that's what you are looking for, and then it also has a quarter 20 mount in the bottom, so you can put it on a mini tripod. Now this is kind of like an all-in-one, so it fits everything. Even with this big of a light, you can fit it on here no problem, and it just gives you that extra light, especially if you're shooting in darker scenes. And the key is with vlogging, you wanna be able to have a system that you can pop out and film yourself and not be fidgeting with gear and just throw this in your bag. Well, that's a cute little squirrel. 
So this video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that has everything you need to build your online presence. And yes, I do use Squarespace. That is what I use to build my website, jevandovi.com, because I think it's essential for every creator to have their own website, to give people more information about who you are, or it's a place for you to sell your products and everything else. The reason that I chose Squarespace is that it's super easy to use. They have templates. You just drag and drop your photos, videos, everything into the template. Makes it super easy to build and customize your own site that matches your brand. You don't need to be an expert coder to make it happen. Squarespace has 24 seven support, so they'll help you through every step of the way. So head to squarespace.com and use my code Jevin Dovey for 10% off your first purchase. All right, let's get back into some tips on how to vlog. Okay, okay, hold on one second here. Just one second. Check, check. Okay, so I was finished recording this video and then a box showed up. Rach, can you bring that box in here? When I made this video originally, I did not have the case for the DJI Osmo Action. And then as soon as I- Could you imagine? Could you imagine? As soon as I finished up this video- Everything's gonna break if I just dump this no, out. No, dump it. They sent me a whole box of parts. So we got ND filters, we got more cases, more ND filters. Throw. This is a wide lens, this is a macro lens. But what I'm most excited about, and this is part, ties into the video exactly what I was talking about, is this DJI Osmo action case. And it has a place for a light as well as your microphone on top. Also, it is metal, so it's much more durable than this plastic one, but check this out. They also sent me a version three of the GoPro one. It's also metal. No way. And you don't have the extension bracket, so you can mount it right on the side. So is that considered a kitten? Windscreen helps, it doesn't sound like wind. And normally it's called a dead cat, but when it's on a GoPro, it is called a dead kitten, because it's a little smaller. As much as I enjoy helping you with these reviews, I'm not interested, so. Okay, so these new cases are both metal and they're both set up like this. Microphone on top, light on the side. You have a ring on the front that allows you to add 55 millimeter filters, use a step up ring if you need, something bigger, and a quarter 20 on the bottom so you can mount your tripod. So this is like the ultimate vlog case for either the GoPro or the DJI Osmo Action. The only difference with the DJI Osmo Action is you don't have a place for screw on filterings. However, the DJI Osmo Action filter setup is much easier. You just screw them on. So this is the full setup. Now let's go show you how this whole setup works. All right, so tip number one is that vlogging is a style and it's not a topic. And I think a lot of people get this confused when they start going down this rabbit hole of vlogging. They think that, you know, just shooting content, just shooting videos in this style where you're walking around and showing your day, that's what vlogging is. But in reality, vlogging is more of a style. It's a more of a way that you produce content. You still have to have a niche. You still have to have something that it is that you're creating or a specific target audience that you're creating for. So for me, I started out this channel as a travel vlog. So my focus, my niche was travel, but the style in which I produced my content was in this vlog style, where I'm running around with a camera showing my adventures and showing the places that I was exploring. Now it's obviously changed since then. I do a lot more YouTube training, filming tutorials, all that kind of stuff. So now my vlogs are not so much travel, but my vlogs are kind of behind the scenes of the different things that I do when it comes to this channel in general. So if you're a family channel, then your topic is your family. If you are a fitness channel, then your topic is fitness or whatever specific form of fitness that you're doing. Your topic isn't vlogging. So you need to figure out what your topic is, what your niche is, and then make vlogging your style because vlogging is a way that you film a topic. It's not the topic itself. Okay, so tip number two is create a story for your vlogs. So when you're going out to create your vlog, create an outline, like have a direction in which that you're going to create your vlog around. Like it's not gonna be just turn on the camera and start shooting. Yes, sometimes you will need to do that and you'll just need to shoot whatever's happening. But in general, you need to come up with like a plan. So if you have a channel that's centered around say cruise ships, you like to go on a lot of cruise ships, then your vlog episode might be day one, getting onto the cruise and what it's like experiencing it for the first time when you go to this specific cruise. And you create a story. You have a beginning, middle, and an end. So the beginning might be the anticipation, what you're expecting, 
The middle is the journey as you get on the ship and you start experiencing it. The end is kind of the wrap up in your experience with day one, leading into say like day two or whatever the next thing is. But just coming up with your basic outline and having an idea of some sort of story structure is really going to help your vlogs. And yes, you're gonna shift off this outline. Nothing's ever gonna go the way you planned, but it's better to have a plan on the front end because then you'll be able to create better vlogs and have some sort of direction and an idea of where you're starting and where you're gonna end. Okay, and tip number three is don't get wrapped up in the singular style of vlogging. Don't always just shoot your content like this. Like, start thinking of different ways to tell your story. So some things you could do is like add a cinematic sequence, some B-roll footage, or you could add a stop motion sequence. You could do some voiceover with some visuals. There's different styles of filmmaking that you can incorporate into your vlogs and make it your own and make it something unique. Don't always just run around with a camera pointed out from you and just talking to the camera. Try to find different ways to tell your story and different kind of styles that you can incorporate to make your vlogs something unique and something that is yours. All right, I'm just gonna interject here real quick and just mention that the reason you want an external microphone when you're out shooting, especially vlogging, is all the wind sounds. This scene specifically, when I'm standing on the edge of the cliff, there's a lot of wind hitting the microphone and you can't hear any of it. And the reason is I have an external mic with a windscreen, the dead cat on top, and that basically cuts out all wind sounds so you have clean audio. And like I was saying earlier in this video, clean audio is so important. I also wanna mention it's nice having just like your set build so you could just turn and add something into your video like it's it's helpful having this kind of setup you know I have a couple going and I'm reconfiguring stuff so it's kind of a mess but in general it's nice to be able to just turn over click the button and add something into your videos it makes it very easy to make the whole process of creating content much more fluid all right let's get back so all of this has been shot using the GoPro Hero 7 with this Ulanzi case running around with it. You could still get great vlogs with the GoPro Hero 7, even without a flip screen, just because it's so wide. But obviously with the DJI Osmo Action, you have that flip screen, and that's a huge advantage of that camera. However, both cameras work great, and they're both awesome options to vlog with. Super wide lens, it makes it very easy to vlog. You just throw the little microphone on top, you get better audio, have a good case to wrap it all together and you're good to go. And guys, let me know down in the comments what your topic is for your vlog on your channel. All right guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next one.